MO diagrams are very useful for explaining chemical reactivity. One use for MOs is explaining bond strength by calculating bond order. The greater the bond order, the stronger the bond. The formula for calculating bond order is the number of electrons in bonding orbitals minus the number of electrons in antibonding orbitals, all divided by 2. Now, let's calculate the bond order for the MO diagrams that we already constructed. This is our MO diagram for H2, which looks like this. The bond order is two electrons in the bonding orbitals minus zero electrons in the antibonding orbitals, all divided by two, which equals one. This means that there is a single bond between the two hydrogen atoms, just as we expect from our Lewis structure. A diatomic fluorine molecule has the following Lewis structure, with a single bond between the fluorines and three lone pairs in each one. And this is the MO diagram that we constructed together. The bonding orbitals are highlighted in yellow and the antibonding orbitals are highlighted red. The bond order is going to be 8 electrons in bonding orbitals minus 6 electrons in antibonding orbitals divided by 2 gives us 2 over 2, which is 1. Thus, the MO diagram correctly predicts a single bond between the two fluorines. The last MO diagram we created together is for Cn-, which has a Lewis structure with a triple bond connecting carbon to nitrogen. This is our MO diagram with the bonding orbitals highlighted yellow and the antibonding orbitals highlighted red. For the bond order, there are 8 electrons in bonding orbitals minus 2 electrons in antibonding orbitals, all divided by 2 gives us 6 over 2, which is 3. A bond order of 3 corresponds to a triple bond, just as we expect for a Cn-.